Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So there has been a few updates to the PS5 exploit in terms of the WebKit exploit, as well as the BD-J or the Blu-ray disc jailbreak. And I wanted to take just a moment and talk about those here with you today. So the very first one is the main repository by Spectre Dev for the PS5 IPv6 kernel exploit. We could see that right around 19 hours ago, there was another commit that came through. And if we go over here to the commits that was made on December the 16th, we can see that there was a merge pull request number 16 from John Tornblum that was pulled in. And what it looks like here is, is that there is really two main things. Fix the typo in the dot data segment copy and logic. And another one here to avoid shadowing of a loop counter. Now, again, for the end user here, there's probably not going to be a lot of visual changes that you'll see. But as far as running the exploit itself, obviously, this will help improve stability. So we can see for releases, it's still at 1.02. So if you are using the very latest version, you won't necessarily know. But I have seen a couple of exploit host already be updated for this and so that's really the main news here with a specter delve and at least the ps5 ipv6 now since this was coming from john tornblum we can also go over to his github repo and we can see right around four hours ago there was an initial ps5 elf loader that was added so we'll go into the commits here and we'll see the add initial ps5 elf loader these were all committed right here on December the 17th. If we go into this, we can see that there has been a new workflow that's been added to this GitHub repository. There is a make file for a PS5 elf loader. And if you scroll down into this, you can see right here, it's kind of the readme for this. And then if you look right here you can see that basically that this payload or the sample payload basically gets the process id and returns that back now you will need to do a couple of things one of them is, is that you will need to build a iso image which i've already built and i'll have that available for you but then one other thing that you might want to do is to actually build this ps5 elf file and that's something that I thought that we would do here together. You will need to make sure that you run these commands right here. And really just get a Windows subsystem for Linux, Ubuntu, and Windows Terminal. And you'll be set in order to build ISO images. And down at the bottom, there is a sample of how you can build your own. Now, what we will do is we'll scroll up a bit and we'll go to Samples. And we're going to go to the one right here, which was four hours ago, and it was the PS5 Elf Loader. And so the command that was made here was simply go into the folder where that lives and then run the command make-c payloads. Okay, so back over on the terminal, I am in that samples folder slash PS5 Elf Loader. I'm just going to go ahead and paste in that command for the make of the payloads and we'll press enter here. Okay, so this is erroring out right here with the make cling command. So command not found here, which means we will need to install it. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to go sudo apt update, enter our super user password here. And once this finishes, I will go ahead and I'll run the setup for Clang. Okay, and so now I'm going to run sudo apt install Clang. We're going to select yes here. Okay, so now that is finished up, we will clear our screen and we will run that make command again. Okay, so it looks like that was successful and it did finish up. So let's head over to payloads. And there we go. We've got a git pid.l file right there. 
So I am going to go ahead and go into Windows Explorer and I'm going to copy that out. And in just a moment, we're going to send that to our PlayStation 5. So let's jump over to the PS5 now. Okay, so I've went ahead and I've burnt the disc and I have now put it inside of my PlayStation 5. And here is the screen that we see right here. As you can see, it does say FTP, which I do not recall that being in the previous version. Maybe it was, but now let's just go ahead and let's run this. Okay, and there we go. Everything looks correct so far. Leaking kernel dot data address, cleaning up, escalated privileges. It does show right there that the debug menu has been enabled. Escaped free BSD jail is the last message that I see there. And it does say that the elf loader is running on port 9020. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's send an elf file over. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to inject the FTP payload. So let's do that now. And it says game or app error. Please wait. Something went wrong with this game or app. So press OK. So that does not appear that that worked properly. Maybe we will rerun it again. Okay, Elf Loader running on port 9020, so let's try it again. Okay, every time I'm injecting a payload, it is hard crashing here. So, okay there. And we'll just run it again. Maybe I'll try a different payload uh, this time. Okay, and it just crashed and turned off my controller and we got another kernel panic so it does not look like this is going to be something that is ready at least right now it did say for developers only okay so i'm going to try the absolute simplest payload that i have for the playstation 5 and this just pops up a notification so let's give this one a shot so i'm going to inject the payload here And I haven't seen anything happening there. And we should see a pop-up notification. And I am not seeing that. I am running 3.20. So I'm not sure if that has anything yet uh, to do with it. Okay, and so this time I'm going to run the get PID dot elf that we built just a little bit earlier. So I'm going to go ahead now and inject that payload and let's see what happens here and it looks like nothing happens when you inject the actual git pid.elf i'll try it again here and it does show that it is done over on my end so again this is still really a very early work in progress um, it absolutely has not been working with anything that i have tried here today. If you can get it working on your own, then just let me know. I will leave a link to where you can download the ISO image as well as this get PID.elf just in case you want to take a look at it yourself. So again, thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Michael out.